is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. The question is, why can't America keep its missiles in its pants? The war in Afghanistan continues on in an unreported, quiet sort of death and destruction like a family of cannibals who move the gruesome killing to the basement so the civilized dinner party can continue without interruption. Historically speaking, we have been involved in more wars for fun, profit, shits, and giggles than we have for necessity. So why can't we keep our missiles in our boxer shorts? Because... There's too much money to be made from it. There is lots and lots of cash in building bombs and helicopters, cargo ships, and oil pipelines, and taking the resources from faraway lands. A Chris Christie-sized pile of money. There's very little money in love and peace and being good to each other. I once tried to open a, a hugs booth here on the street corner, and I figured if a single missile costs roughly a million dollars, then I will only have to charge like a mere, you know, $3,200 for a hug. But the business was a, a flop. It didn't do well at all. This is why you've heard of the free hugs campaign, because that's the going rate for a hug. Free. Not even a fucking nickel. But war is not sold to us as a profit-making machine, is it? It's sold to us as a necessity, an absolute need to protect us from bad guys. Our defense department struts out every five years or so and says, Holy flying batshit, Batman! We have no choice but to bomb Iran. It's the only way to keep us safe. You know how we've been grabbing your balls at the airport? Well, that's not enough anymore. We have to blow their balls clean off their bodies. It's the only way. They should end that speech with, oh yeah, we're gonna make a shitload of money too, and then run off giggling like schoolgirls. General Smedley Butler, one of the most decorated Marines of all time, had this to say after his service was through. He said, I helped make Mexico safe for American oil interests. I made Haiti and Cuba a decent place for the National City Bank boys. I helped in the raping of a half a dozen Central American republics for the benefit of Wall Street. I helped purify Nicaragua for the International Banking House of Brown Brothers. I brought light to the Dominican Republic for sugar interests and made Honduras right for American fruit companies. So saw to it that Standard Oil went about their business unmolested. I might have given Al Capone a few hints. The best he could do was operate his racket in three city districts. We operated on three separate continents. And if a guy with a name like Smedley tells you you're fighting too much, you take that shit pretty seriously. This has been your Moment of Clarity from LeeCamp.net. Check out the Moment of Clarity podcast. You can get it at LeeCamp.net or on iTunes or Android app or Stitcher. Thanks. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.